Hello, coffee lovers! I am absolutely thrilled to welcome you to Pitchers Up Final. Two weeks ago, we started with 53 competitors, 16 qualified to semifinal, and today we will have top nine competitors from all Baltic states fighting for Pitchers Up champion title. My name is Laurinas. I am SCA Lithuania chapter events coordinator. Together with our great team, Nidas, Neringa, Aquile, and Victoria, uh, we are welcoming you to biggest latte art throwdown in Baltics ever. A few months ago, six month ago, months ago, we thought we are really missing events, coffee tastings, festivals, and just gathering with our all coffee community. And we came up with idea, and we did the first online latte art throwdown in Lithuania called Have Fun Online. It was a great chance to gather our community once again for competition, for sharing knowledge. And we also had a lot of fun, so we decided to take it next step. And well, this is where it took us. We have the biggest lighter throwdown in Baltic server with 53 competitors. Pitchers Up follows a three rounds format. The first round qualification, we, held, we had 53 competitors drawing uh, flowers. 16 got to semi-final, they were doing uh, birds uh, designs. And today, top nine competitors in the final, they have a full freedom to choose whatever they want to draw to amaze us and the audience and also the judges. Uh, while I'm talking about the format of rules uh, and how the competition is going, you can see those drawings, what they've done. Uh, baristas film and take a picture of their done design uh, from the comfort of their own coffee bar. They send it to our team, we edit it and prepare it for the show. And that's what you see in the live streams. To choose the best of the best, we are inviting judges from three Baltic countries and also audience has a vote in it. Even though quite many have already left or didn't qualify for the final, they have uh, got or it, the presents for them are on the way by our uh, transport partner and friend Omniva who are delivering those gifts uh, in a safe and fast and reliable way. Of course, those gifts are full of our sponsor prizes from King Coffee Service, um, uh, Pauli, Kofmos Coffee Roasters, Caffeine. Thank you very much. Uh, but this is uh, all the talks, and I would like to invite our big part of the competition, which is our judges. And let's talk about judging. It's really important and the responsible work. It's not only important to choose uh, correctly the champion, but also to encourage other participants to particip participate in the competitions once again. Uh, they are all respected, well known in the industry, and I will start with the first one. And I would like to invite Edita Khodarcevic, official World uh, Coffee Events representative judge, head of quality at Union Hand Roasters living in London, for a short uh, interview with me, and we will discuss uh, the competition and how the judges are evaluated, uh, baristas are evaluated. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so uh, excited about this competition. I'm losing my words already. <laughs> so can we get the data on the mic so I can hear her and also we can see her? Pretty soon, I think so, yes. Uh, but uh, in general, we have three judges. And the fourth judge will be you, our audience. So this time, audience has 25% uh, score to rank final uh, and choose the favorite uh, of today, who will be the best barista latte art specialist in Baltics. Well, at least, I think, for a year. Who knows when is the next uh, Baltic latte art competition. Hello, Edita. Good morning, Lorene. How are you? Oh, thank you. I'm uh, very, very excited and very thrilled. Uh, and how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, very happy to be part of this event. I'm uh, also very glad. So judges yesterday had a long session evaluating the baristas because it takes more time than we can manage in, during the live show. 
Uh, and Edita, you're very experienced judge. You've been in Vilnius Coffee Festival for uh, several years already, head judging and uh, overlooking the whole panel of judges. Uh, and I have basically a few questions. So first of all, let's talk uh, the format of the judging and the way we rank the baristas. And we have two extremes. We have uh, national and world level championships of latte art. And we have a throwdown where judges basically just decide which pattern is better. So how would you describe the, the balance of these rules we have here? I would say it's a nice combination. Uh, I, I think because it's an online event, there are limitations to how, you know, how detailed you can be and you only judging the photograph, not the actual drink. So there also might be nuances in this. So I think you guys found a very nice balance of having some purely technical marks that we give, but also keeping it quiet, um, I would say holistic, so like how customer will see the drink and would they like it or not. So yeah, it's a very nice balance between the throw down, like emotional response, but also technical parts of it, yeah. Thank you. And uh, was it the first competition that you judged online? Yes, <laughs> it is, yes. So how was it? Uh, can it what, what's the difference, you know, when doing it uh, in a traditional way versus this online uh, mode well i think uh, because it's latte art it's it has some similarities i would compare it to judging art bar when you get photos from all the competitors so of course it's always nice to see people competitors perform and you know have this uh, personal connection but i think by now we all kind of uh, you know know that it's very difficult and <laughs> Having any interaction in that, yes, yeah. But yeah, it was very good, very smooth. No, no, you know, like no issues, which is very nice. That's perfect. And uh, just to give this personal touch, we will have short recorded uh, videos, interviews with our finalists. So uh, you and the audience will have a chance to get a bit uh, to know our baristas who got into final. Okay, Edita, so thank you very much for joining us for the hard work you did uh, yesterday, basically. And uh, we will have a chat about the level and the creativity of the drawings uh, after we see all the nine finalists. Nice. Enjoy the thank show. Thank you, Lori. Good luck, everyone. And second judge, uh, Raimon Selga, uh, international judge, Latvian barista champion, Co-founder of Calva Roastery, sustainable roastery in Riga. Uh, hello, Raymond. Hey, hey, good to see you, Larinas. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I, it's always pleasure to see the great judges and uh, and old fellows from good times. We've met uh, probably some years ago before, but also in Seoul when you were uh, barista champion of Latvia, and we were representing our countries together at that time. Uh, only good memories from there. <laughs> Good times, good times. <laughs> when, when the world was open for traveling and for meeting uh, your fellow coffee yeah. lovers. Uh, Raymond, listen, I have, uh, I have a question about your roastery and sustainability of uh, specialty coffee is a big topic. It's a big part of what we do and why we do it. Could you explain the mission and the reasons why you went and you're positioning your company as a very sustainable and what kind of tools you use to make it? It is a big challenge because of the way that uh, coffee is roasted, right? Because we use, we essentially on a bigger scale, we have to use gas to be able to uh, manage all of the roast profiles and the temperatures and everything. But uh, that being said, it is somewhat unrealistic, at least for now, to claim a coffee roaster be, to be 100% uh, sustainable. But uh, what we are always targeting is for us to be for us today to be better than we were yesterday. So the things that we can do is we can focus on the packaging, have it reusable as possible, and in B2B to deliver coffees that are not uh, packaged uh, in, in, uh, in uh, like regular 1kg packs, but to be in refillable uh, buckets, to have coffee bags which are uh, refillable as in coffee tins, and, and of course to uh, 
look towards more recyclable materials as for example the same 1 kg bags they they can be recyclable now of course there's a big issue with the with the paper cups but the industry is moving in a nicer direction as well but it's uh, it's i think it's more of the mindset as well of all of your colleagues and all of the people who are involved that's every step you take and everything you do in your in your daily and professional life you have to keep this uh the sustainability uh, in mind, and not only from the environmental perspective, which is important as well, but in, for example, building relationship with with partner that you don't go for the, uh, say, hard sell and uh, and uh, get the uh, partner in like five minutes, but you establish long and sustainable relationships. So all of these things together, we really try to focus it through our uh, through our cooperation, and which is why we are working towards uh, a highly sustainable um, company. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Let's jump back to the competition now. Uh, yep. uh, Edita mentioned a few things. We have two very technical scores, which is symmetry and contrast. Could you describe for the audience, if they don't know these terms, uh, what are these and how the judges are evaluating it? Okay, so symmetry is, uh, the, I love these two scoring points because they're black and white, right? One of them quite literally. Um, symmetry is if you can imagine like the cup being a circle, like a canvas where you have to put your drawing in. So symmetry is the way that the, um, a pattern is positioned within the cup and not only like say if you split it in half so left side of the heart and right side of the heart but only how uh synergetic is it with the cup like how big is the distance between the patterns uh and the rim of the cup how symmetrical are the elements within the pattern if the pattern is asymmetrical for example if it's like a like a like a drawing we still look for symmetry within the elements that are, you have used to create the pattern and of course the position of the of the uh of the handle of the cup so uh, how would this look if this was presented to someone in a coffee shop environment? And of course, uh, like the overall positioning of the pattern, is it centered? Is it there? How big are the spaces between the, the rims on either side? So the symmetry, not just of the, uh, of the pattern, but right there of the whole uh, thing. Like imagine if it was a, a canvas and where is the uh, portrait, for example, positioned? uh if it is a portrait of a person and contrast is is uh is a slightly easier to explain so it's the contrast between the crema of the coffee and the white of the milk uh they have to be very uh well contrasty essential uh, essentially so the definition between the white part and the brown part has to be there the lines of the patterns have to be very very sharp as sharp as you can get them. There should be no blurring within the crema, unless it's intentional. For example, if you have to use it for the pattern, but if it's uh, if it's accidental, then of course uh, contrast gets uh, scored lower there. There have to be like, for example, if it's a rosetta, you have to see the brown centers very, very uh, distinctly. And yeah, it has to be crisp lines throughout the whole uh, pattern. And then you can see uh, brown and white, that's it. That's for contrast. That, that's the explanation of first two pillars of how the patterns or designs like arts are evaluated. Thank you, Raymond. Enjoy the Thank show. You. Will do. See you around. Yeah, see you later. And the third judge, Kaspar Tamjarv, uh, Estonian but Dutch latte art champion of 2019, founder of Subtalam's uh, training, coffee training school. Hi, Kaspar. Hey. Thank you for having me, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely excited about it again. Uh, I remember how I first time met you. Uh, I was living in Estonia. I was just having my uh, probably flat fight at that time. And, uh, and we started chatting and then we understood, oh, we have something in common, right? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was really nice. And I actually, I think there was even one time beforehand uh, when I came to uh, Lithuania. I visited one of the competitions and you were a judge there. Back in back in ah, caffeine yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was one back. of the real we pronouns back. we used to have. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Ah, good. <laughs> you see, the, the world is so small <laughs> and uh, we really miss those competitions. Uh, 
So, Kasper, you have certain experience in uh, competing as a light art uh, champion. So, you, you went to world championships and it's totally different world for light art. It's not day-to-day -day job in a, in a coffee shop, right? But what's the actual difference, you know, between competing in world levels and being a barista in a, you know, local coffee shop? So... I think there's like a really fine line between competing and working behind the cafe because like when you're in a cafe you still need to do a service right you need to serve customers drinks and uh, like when it comes to competing and high level latte art uh, those champions they are pouring or using at least over a minute to create their patterns so in a cafe environment, it doesn't make sense. Like you, your cafes aren't sustainable anymore. So, so there's a really fine line in the time, like creating those uh, more complicated patterns. They take more time. And uh, in a cafe, you just need to get the drinks out. So yeah, for uh, caffeine thirsty clients that are visiting you, and, yeah. but the, to to create this complex drawing, uh, barista has to be a very creative, and that's one of the pillars what you as a judge evaluated. Could you describe what is creativity in, in, yours, in your way? So basically, creativity, it comes down to um, what kind of elements you use to create your latte art pattern. And as we know from previous uh, rounds, there are many different ways how you can, you know, uh, create those patterns, starting from tulips, turning into rosettas, and then using the drawing technique to create more detailed uh, elements of your pattern. And this is what basically we as judges also scored. So people who use it, used more complicated patterns um got scored higher but uh once again those uh complicated patterns had to also look nice overall so they had to um, be also well executed totally true and uh, we just uh, entered the overall appeal section of ev evaluating which is just the most subjective uh, the judges could take the most freedom and uh, decide is this uh, drawing appealing or not appealing? So what's the most appealing uh, design that uh, you like, not taking into consideration this competition? Oh, you mean overall? Yeah. Well, I do have to say there's a couple of patterns uh, that I uh, still am uh, developing for my own routines in the future, who knows? But uh, one of the original favorites is uh, windmill. So it's yeah, uh, it's a uh, it's fairly complicated pattern, and no one else has really poured it. So it still uh, has that wow factor. Yeah, and it's uh, very Dutch. Okay, Casper, yeah. thank you very much for joining and explaining uh, us the these parts of the evaluation. And enjoy the show. See you a bit in a bit. Yeah, thank you. That was our judges. Uh, huge uh, thanks to them for doing the great job that they have done already. And now they can enjoy the show. We're glad to say that our community is supported by great brands that makes this event possible. Uh, we have to say big shout out to La Marzocco and King Coffee Service for powering up Pictures Up. Uh, we thank to our sponsors, Caffeine, Omniva, Cosmos Coffee Roasters, uh, Pauli and Tallinn Coffee Festival, all of them made it possible. Not only they support our communities, but we will have some great uh, prizes and uh, for those who are active and uh, competing for gifts from our sponsors. Uh, remember your favorite barista number because now we will jump straight to the competition and right after nine competitors, you will have a chance to vote for your favorite and you will be, our audience will be counted as fourth judge. So it's very important who is going to be the champion of pitchers up uh, biggest lighter throwdown in Baltics. And they will get not only beautiful diplomas of uh, winning the competition, but also the Varia multi brewer from King Coffee Service, the main prize for the best competitor today. 
And that's it. Enough of talks. Competitor number one, Sharuna Pascoachumaita, representing King Coffee Service Lithuania, and a short interview with her. Hello, Sharuna. How are you? Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lorinas. Good. Good. Excited. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, getting to final. Uh, I think, was it uh, unexpected uh, for you? Yeah, it was unexpected for me and my hands, <laughs> let's say so. In the, in the, in the registration form, uh, you, you told that uh, your espressos are better than latte art. Uh, so have you managed in this week <laughs> to shift it uh, over? And what do you think? I think that now both are pretty good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely. And I think uh, who saw your performances from first, and they will see the last one today, uh, can see how you how much you advanced in light art. And uh, I think that's a great achievement. One of the, you know, one of the key goals why we are doing this event. So let's jump into your semi-final pour that we will see on the screens now. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you describe, uh, so the topic was birds and how you decided on your design. What, what was the idea behind it? So the idea behind it was, you know, basically just because I was very fresh at Light Yard. Um, I just decided, you know, to pour this one because I saw it somewhere and I thought it's very nice. And I, you know, I tried to challenge myself and pour it. And, you know, after many, many times, somehow it happened <laughs> so that was the idea you know and how do you call it a peacock or this is a swan what is yeah the... actually it's a peacock uh, it's supposed to be a peacock yeah it's supposed to be well it looks like one so uh, nice <laughs> good <laughs> with a huge tail and a uh, little nice and uh, uh gracious uh, neck uh, on the top uh perfect so uh, it took uh, not only judges to get here, but also the fans. So I think you're building up your fan base, which is amazing uh, achievement, I think, for everybody <laughs> to have. Uh, so what will your fans see today? What design you chose for the final? So for the final, I chose a very, uh, uh, I would say, very hard design. It was very hard for me to pour it the first times. And then after many times again, somehow I managed to pour it. And it's like Egyptian falcon. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, at least this name I can hear the first time. Uh, yeah. And uh, this is it. So final day, final pour from Sharuna. And we will jump right into it. Thank you, Sharuna. Good luck. Thank you. That's our first finalist, Sharuna Pascochimaita. beautiful falcon from Sharuna. Competitors who didn't get to the final already received or they will soon, very, very soon receive their gifts uh, by Omniva Delivery Services. Uh, but to share some more happiness, the Omniva has these great socks in a beautiful can. Oh, I lost one. They are great. Uh, for those who are sharp enough, to see this full can of socks and two lucky Facebook stream commenters uh, who get it right at, at the right point, uh, they will get these two, two pairs of socks. So be active and uh, share your experience with pictures up. And now the second competitor, Georg Lepik, representing Kiosk number one and number two specialty coffee shops in Tallinn. Uh, let's check the interview with him. Hello, Georg. Hello. Norinas. Good. How are you doing? Great. Uh, almost 100 out of 100, but the sun is not shining. So strong <laughs> 95 here. 
<laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Uh, yeah. I think one of the reasons why the score is so high is because you're in the final. Uh, congratulations. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, so let me ask you uh, basically two questions in one. Uh, yep. Was this first light art competition for you? And are you going to take part in uh, Thailand Coffee Festival light art throwdown? Uh, so uh, basically, this one was my second. The first one was last. Uh, well, this last spring, uh, Tallinn. No, last last September uh, in Tallinn uh, Coffee Festival, and I think I will take part at the next one as well. So you enjoy uh, light art throwdowns? Um, no. I'm forced to. I'm forced to join them. <laughs> I'm forced to take part. But uh, it forces you to do to do better and better. I see. So uh, we got you into final now. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> let's see what you have done for the semi-final, and if you can describe it. What was this? What What was the design, uh, Georg? Uh, so basically started with a simple tulip here, as you can see, and now did a turn and then following, I think, four layer tulip, uh, which was almost perfectly executed, <laughs> or five layer, uh, and then uh, double swan. swan. Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, I have to say this is a very attractive uh, design. And yeah, if I, if I remember correctly, judges scored you very well on the technical part, so symmetry mm -hmm. and contrast. And, uh, and that's probably, it was basically necessary to execute those drawings. Uh, have you gone like uh, much more difficult for the final? And what is going to be the design? How you call it? I, I, I think uh, I, I will throw in finals uh, my fa one of my favorite patterns. Um, it basically how do how to call it? Uh, I will call it uh, that. I I will throw as many tulip layers as I can in a in a cup. Basically, oh, okay, really exciting. So what? Something how... like this, and I, 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 not just like a tulip pattern, but I will stack them, uh, stack them into pattern as well. So layers into layers. Well, we're gonna see some uh, complicated tulip here. Uh, good, nice to see it. Good luck. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. That was Georg, and he already introduced his stack tulip. Let's see how it went. What an amazing performance from Georg. Uh, we can't imagine light art without milk, and that's why we have four pictures up a milk sponsor, and it's Paulik. They have three different milks for baristas, which are meant for professionals, but can be used as home just as well. Uh, let us know in the comments how many roasteries Paulik does have, and two lucky winners will get the prizes from Paulik. Uh, so good luck, be active, and let us know how many roasteries Paulik has. Competitor number three, uh, Georg's colleague, Helena Lee Und from kiosk number one and number two, specialty coffee shops in Tallinn, an interview with Helena. So, hello, Helena, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Yeah, all good. Oh, a oh, very Estonian uh, answer. <laughs> <laughs> short, short and uh, right on point. So, yeah, I'm uh, doing just fine, yeah. 
Yeah, that's good. We have finals. Uh, congratulations uh, getting here. Uh, it's quite impressive achievement out of 53, only nine left. Uh, uh, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? Uh, do you feel like winner already, or uh, you really want to have champion title? Look, yeah, thank you for those words, but uh, I really didn't like. I didn't think that I can come so far. So, yeah, I didn't like, expect those things. <laughs> well, I was that's thinking good. like, yeah, can't come so far. So. How long have you been a uh, barista? Now you work in uh, kiosk number one. Is it your first barista place or I believe not? Uh, it's not my first place. Mm -hmm. mm, I have been in kiosk. It's my first year there. But I've been, in, I've been working as barista mm, for five years now. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And uh, we can definitely see in your patterns that you have uh, uh, like big experience in light art. And now uh, we will see your semi-final uh, pour uh, in the screens. Uh, could you... And the topic was birds. Uh, so what was your chosen design for it and uh, why you chose it? Oh, it was just the easiest one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but uh, what, what I saw in the in the in the first round uh, for the flowers topic, you did uh, let's say not very complicated tulip, uh, but yeah. uh, just like uh, just like this one that we saw in the screens right now, uh, all of them had a very beautiful contrast and uh, really silky foam and uh, and uh, especially from the consumer side, it probably looks like very tasty drink in a cup. Yeah, it is. It was, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you drank all of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looked so beautiful, so I, I, I couldn't throw it up. Uh, perfect. And what is your final design? What are you be going to see today? Um, I didn't have like many ideas, so I mixed tulip and swan together, and that's it. Great. Maybe. So we're going to see uh, uh, probably a swan in a bunch of flowers. Yeah. Good, Helena. Thank you very much for joining me and good luck in the final. Thank you. That was Helena. And now let's see her tulip with swans. That was Helena and her swan on a tulip. Uh, for those who just joined, this is Pitchers Up, uh, Latte Art Throwdown, final round. Top nine competitors are fighting for a chance to get the champion's title of the biggest Latte Art Throwdown ever in Baltics. Uh, stay tuned because the audience will have a chance to vote for your favorite baristas right after the ninth finalist. And now I have to introduce the competitor number four, Jigimantas G. Yakimovas, who is supporting backstage. And this is going to be a really fun interview with him. Hi, Jig. It's uh, very nice to see you in uh, Pictures of Final. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> so it's been. It's... <laughs> <laughs> hello, Jigis. Welcome to Pictures of Final. Hello, hello. Thanks. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, four years. Uh, it's been four years since you competed, and now you're in the finals. Uh, does it remind you of good times you had before? Yeah, it was actually quite fun. 
I didn't really thought I would go to the finals. So I just like entered for fun. I'm really glad for the opportunity to participate it, and I really am thankful to the Backstage Cafe for offering me the opportunity to stand behind the bar again. And yes, somehow I managed to go to the finals. So <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I no, guess that... once you learn something, like it stays forever. I guess. Well, definitely, you had uh, some serious experience uh, being twice uh, Lithuanian vice champion. That that takes some <laughs> some skills to get there. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see now uh, what kind of pattern you did for the semifinal, and if you can describe it. Basically, it was a bird, right? No, I actually tried to do a fox. The funny thing is, oh, oh, sorry. Do you want a <laughs> semi-final? Yeah, semi-final, sorry. Yeah, it was a bird. Like, I did uh, four stacks of tulips, then four rosettas, and uh, then a drag style head for the finish, finishing touch. <laughs> was it a new design for you? No, it actually it is one of my older patterns, if I remember correctly. But I used to do it, this with six rosettas. So I couldn't pour it this time, so I had to like do it with less. <laughs> well, in the end, it looks uh, well executed and uh, creative, and something we haven't seen in the semi-final at least. And you have already mentioned uh, your final design name. So, what animal are we going to see? I tried to do a fox. I guess I kind of did it. <laughs> the funny thing is that I learned this pattern two days before like sending you the video <laughs> so <laughs> then I had a lot of time to practice but <laughs> it's fun to learn some new things <laughs> that's great thank you for joining uh, good luck today in the finals and uh, hope you will do very good well yes yes we'll see about that so good luck to all the competitors and see you soon <laughs> bye See you soon from Jigis and uh, now his final try to win Pitchers Up Champion title. Fox design from Gigi G. Well, that's uh, impressive for sure and never seen before, at least in our competitions. Uh, let me introduce uh, Pictures Up coffee partner, Caffeine, uh, and they are ready to surprise you with some gifts. Uh, let us know in which city first ever Caffeine coffee shop was opened uh, and two coffee lovers will get uh, Costa Rican coffee beans freshly roasted from Caffeine. So, uh, where was first caffeine shop uh, opened ever? Uh, competitor number five, have fun online champion, Edgar Silpudnins, uh, representing Paper Mill Roasters. Let's tune in to his interview. Hello, Edgar. Uh, Hello. So, uh, three, three months ago, you became champion of Have Fun Online. Can you tell us how your life changed and if people recognize you on the streets now? <laughs> they would if I didn't wear the mask. <laughs> but yeah, signing autographs was the right right now. <laughs> you keep it in your schedule. Well, that's great to hear, and uh, we're uh, really excited to have you back again. And uh, congratulations getting to the final. Uh, Thank you. Have you learned something during this event? Something new, what you didn't know before? Uh, I mean, when it comes to latte art, I definitely did. But uh, yeah, overall, it's just been amazing so far. And you guys are doing a great job of organizing this thing. <laughs> so uh, we're glad to in invite you know all the champions and well-known people in the industry. And uh, you're one of the competitors who is uh, uh, like a soul of this event, you know, uh, Latvian living in Estonia. Uh, uh, it brings our communities closer together. 
super excited about that. And let's see what you've done in semi-final to get to final of Features Up. Cool. Can you tell about the pattern that you chose for uh, for semi-final? I went with the rules, I guess. The rules where you have to pour a bird, and then I tried to spice it up a little bit and not use just a normal one, but that little bits and bobs next to it. I think it came out pretty good. Oh, definitely. And you've been selected to come back to the final by the Lomarzoko comeback competition. Uh, where you... Uh, were you scared not getting to the final? How you felt about it? I uh, kind of didn't hope for much after I didn't get, get through from the semifinals round. And then uh, the next day, Margus just texted me and said that I got a good chance to get back. So started campaigning and got back in. <laughs> so to become a Pitchers Up champion, it takes uh, a bit of uh, marketing uh, skills as well, which is which is a good news for you. <laughs> so you've managed it. Congratulations! And what is going to be your final pour? What's the design? Uh, the design is going to be an angel, and uh, I'll let you guys see see what it looks like and tell me the rest. Great! Uh, thank you for joining. Good luck in final. Don't worry, take care. That was Edgar, and let's see how he poured an angel in a cup. Beautiful design from Edgar. Uh, now it's time to give away some gifts from our sponsor. So first of all, and I will announce four of them at once. First of all, two Paulig uh, gifts winners, and they are uh, Gabi Arashko Skaite and Margarita Soroko, who told correctly that Pauli has four roasteries in the world. And the second two winners, uh, who got it right, the first cafe and coffee shop was opened in Vilnius, and they are Ellis La Raud and Vitanis Barilla. So congratulations to four of you. Uh, let's get in touch on Facebook, and we will share the gifts with you from our sponsors. Uh, this week in SEA Lithuania, Facebook and Instagram feeds, you had a chance to get to know La Marzocca a bit better. We dedicated a whole week for it. We presented different coffee espresso machines uh, from El Morzoko, the, the, the mission and the vision and how they do things. And it's just a beautiful espresso machine to have. Uh, but we have a question for you while uh, we will show you a great video from La Marzocca. So who is official distributor of La Marzocca machines in all Baltics? Not very complicated answer, but great gifts from La Marzocco for those who get it right. And now, video about La Marzocco espresso machines. I never look at myself in the mirror. Even if many people find me beautiful, I'm not really interested in how I look to others. By this time, I've realized that what really matters is what's all around me. And I'm not talking about places, even though there are many that are dear to me and that perhaps have even left their mark inside of me. No, at the end of the day, places and countries don't mean all that much to me. I'm most interested in people, the thousands of faces I see every day. It's in their eyes that I see myself reflected at every moment all over the world. And I have to say that what I see, I like more and more. All sorts of people, 
all sharing a great passion, an entire culture made up of a bit of science and a lot of good judgment. And then there are the people who are by my side, those with whom I've shared for better and for worse, as they say at weddings. Their faces, their solid ideas, and their intelligent hands are always with me. And the more time passes, the more vividly memories become reality and walk by my side every day. So it is the faces of those who made me what I am who are here tonight. And together we look ahead to the things, all good I'm sure, which the future has in store for us. So don't call me a product. You could say I'm the product behind thousands, maybe millions of handshakes and smiles, and perhaps even a few arguments too. But I am not a product. I am La Marzocco. That was La Marzocco. And it wasn't that hard. So many correct answers in uh, Facebook stream. And yes, it is King Coffee Service, who are official La Marzocco Espresso Machines distributor in Baltics. And we have two lucky winners. It's Erki Maling and Simona Moironita. Congratulations, guys. Uh, beautiful goodies from La Marzocco and King Coffee Service are going straight to you. Uh, for those who just joined, this is Pitchers Up uh, Championship final round. We are choosing the best barista latte art master for the biggest latte art throwdown in Baltics ever. Stay tuned because uh, right after nine competitors, you'll have a chance to vote for your favorite. So it's just few more competitors and then we will go straight to vote. And now competitor number six, uh, Alexandra Popsova representing Tastemap and interview with Alexandra. Hello, Alexandra. Welcome to the final. Hello, Lorini. How are you doing? Good, thank you. I'm very happy that I'm in finals. Congratulations. Uh, I am super excited to have you here. Uh, we, we had a chance to witness you becoming vice champion of Have Fun Online. Uh, and, uh, and getting to final probably feels very exciting now. Yeah, very nice feeling, you know. <laughs> so, uh, when you started the, this competition, where did you? Was your goal to win it, uh, or it's always a goal to win it? Unfortunately, yes, for me, it's always a goal to win, and uh, I understood so during all these competitions that sometimes it's better just to have fun. Because every time you are do you're doing, like, I want to win, I want to win, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, definitely. And uh, even though winning is fun, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the process of making latte art. And now we're going to see what you've, uh, how you surprised the judges, audience, and me as well uh, with your uh, chicken, uh, if we can see this video. So how, how did you come up with this design? All three, my parents, this time I wanted to make like more childish, more fun. That's why I chose uh, to draw something more, not so strict as usual, but something what can be like cheerful, like to attract people to the car because, you know, uh, with this development of lot art, people are getting used to nice, strict patterns. And this one is like, oh, wow, well, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, basically you're spreading uh, happiness with your latter designs. Uh, at least that's what you chose for Pictures Up. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, and I have to say, really impressive. Uh, I haven't seen this design before. I think it's very creative. Uh, and of course, the execution, that's what you got to the, to the final and before to the semi-final. 
So congratulations, becoming one of the nine uh, finalists here. And what will be your design for the final? So I want uh, to show that latte art can be like different. So third one is also fun and it's dedicated to uh, Easter, which we will have very soon. So it will be a flying bunny, so a cherry, cherry angel bunny. Like that. <laughs> Amazing. So thank you very much for sharing, uh, joining us here, and good luck. Thank you very much. That's Alexandra, and she's bringing us a flying bunny, the fishes of Easter. Let's see. hard to imagine how baristas are so uh, creative and artistic and they bring such cute designs for us to see. Uh, pictures up uh, event sponsor Talent Coffee Festival uh, sharing the same values as we do. Uh, gathering community together, sharing knowledge and also enjoying a cup of coffee just with uh, fellow friends. Uh, top three finalists from today that you will decide and the judges will decide will get two entry passes to Tallinn Coffee Festival each. And the uh, Tallinn Coffee Festival is held this year from 3rd to 4th of September and uh, in an amazing venue, Kulturi Katel in Tallinn. Uh, to share more of Tallinn Coffee Festival, one lucky winner will get two entry passes as well, together with top three competitors, if you get it right. So how many times has Tallinn Coffee Festival been held already? Let us know in the comments and try your luck. And now the seventh competitor from Estonia, Sofia Baitala, representing Cafein. And let's see what she had to tell us about her competition experience. Hello, Sofia. So uh, tell me, tell me, was it your first competition, uh, Pictures Up? Yeah, it was my first competition. Um, I participated in our latte art uh, competition among uh, caffeine workers, but that's the first one. Such this, this the, uh, well, uh, I'm really glad to have you and uh, congratulations on getting to finals. And uh, uh, now let's jump and see what was your semi-final design. Uh, and tell me how you chose it, why you chose it, and uh, why do you like it, or why you like what? What was the decision on? So, to make this... uh, so it was inverted swan with uh, rosetta and tulips, and since I didn't have much time to learn uh, some new pattern. Uh, I decided not to take any chances and draw what I'm good at. And I hope that it worked out for me quite good. <laughs> yeah, well, if we, we look at this uh, pattern, uh, we just saw it in the screen. Uh, I really love the inverted base as a, it's not actually a, like, it's swirled a layer of tulip basically, but it has very nice definition. So I think it gave you actually, uh, it's just very well implemented drawing. So I think that's what took you to the finals. And uh, uh, what was, so how do you call your final design that we will see in a in few moments now? Um, it's a seahorse, or at least I hope that it looks like a seahorse. Um, actually, it was a challenge for me because uh, it was the most difficult pattern I've ever done in my life. And it was a challenge for me to draw and to learn to draw something new. And 
uh, it took me three days to learn this pattern and <laughs> um, I accepted the ch this challenge and I hope it went good. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Good luck in the final. Thanks. Sophia challenge her and draw a seahorse. Let's see how that can look. Just look how beautiful that was. Thank you, Sophia. And now our partner, Somniwa, wants to deliver some happiness for two people. And they chose two winners who are getting beautiful Omniwa socks that I will start wearing, hopefully, today already. And two other people who will get a chance to do it are Diana Miltovica and Eva Dochita. So, girls, congratulations. This goes to you. And the uh, Tallinn Coffee Festival winner who got it right uh, about the uh, Tallinn Coffee Festival. And it is Marilyn Reidmetz. It's happening for four years. I think it's going the fifth year this year uh, to happen in Kulturika till 3rd to 4th of September uh, this year in Tallinn. So make sure you visit it. I hope to do it as well. For those who just joined, uh, once again, Pitchers Up Championship uh, final round. We are choosing top one champion of Lattert in Baltics. We have nine competitors left. You and the judges will decide who will get beautiful main prizes and also the honor of being winner. Uh, stay tuned because after two competitors, you will have a chance to vote for your favorite barista. And now competitor number eight, Yava Shwapita from Tastemap, an interview with her. Hello, Yava. Welcome to Pictures Up Final. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, we're very glad to have you in our competitions. You've done uh, great in the first one in uh, Have Fun Online. Now you're in finals. And of course, uh, you're Lithuanian Latter champion, waiting for your chance for to represent our country in Taiwan this year. Let's hope it happens. Uh, tell me, uh, what was the uh, what was your goal? You know, in this competition, and uh, did you take it as a practice run before uh, World Championships? Yeah, it was definitely a great practice. Uh, I tried to learn new skills. This time, I chose. Not mine, but uh, other uh, baristas' designs. So there was a lot to learn. I had to try new tactics, new methods, new designs. So it was quite difficult, but uh, never before I have done a design such like such a difficult design in such a short time. So I think it will be just a great practice for the world championship and overall <laughs> for my skills. Definitely. And basically you had uh, three weeks to master three designs. So it's quite, uh, if you look at the, how long it takes to prepare for world championships or for uh, national competition, this is quite intense schedule. Uh, but let's jump uh, right into your semi-final pour. And uh, can you tell us uh, what was it? It was a parrot. Uh, so I saw the design on Instagram <laughs> and it just got uh, into my mind. It was fun and nice and I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just feel that it's uh, the design for you. Uh, even when I was preparing for Lithuanian Latte Art Championship, uh, my uh, trainer, Yava Milunite, she said you have to like and enjoy the design. So I think that was the V1. And I really enjoyed learning it and mastering it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so there's uh, there's two things, right? So you have to enjoy the design, uh, but uh, there's another part of Lighter probably 
and some of it is probably quite challenging or difficult for you. So what do you find most complicated in executing the designs? Oh, <laughs> it's hard to say. It's like, uh, it's a long work. Uh, I, I, I'm saying it comes into stages. <laughs> sometimes you are really excited. Sometimes you have some breakdowns. Uh, uh, it's kind of difficult to find the perfect, uh, like um, everything, the perfect <laughs> milk texture. Because when I am learning a new design, there are always stages like I pour too much into to the cup, then I pour too little, <laughs> then I steam too much, of, like too thick of the foam, then mm -hmm. too thin. It's like... Uh, uh on and on going like this uh but uh definitely just takes a lot of practice you have to do it and do it and it comes with the time well, it is uh it is a skill that you have to acquire and uh congratulations uh, first of all you've done great i believe and how do you call your final pour that we will see very soon it's a crane bird, so I stuck the, the bird theme again. Uh, I have never seen this design before, that's why it stuck uh, into my mind. Uh, it was actually kind of difficult, <laughs> um, probably the most difficult uh, for me of all of three. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, but yeah. I'm really happy with my result in such a short time. Of course, I could do better always. But <laughs> it's a great practice. Uh, that's great. Thank you, Yava. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Lithuanian Lottery Champion Yava Shopita representing Taste Map. Just look at that crane from Yeva. Congratulations for competing, Yeva. I wish you the best. Uh, today is the last day to use code PICTUREZUP in Kofmos.com. Our eShop partners, Kofmos Coffee Roasters, were surprising and giving uh, good coffee vibes to all coffee community who share and share 20% discount and free shipping to all Baltic countries. Uh, today is the last day. Uh, thank you, Kofmas, for providing us with good coffee vibes through your eShop. Uh, and now it's time to jump to the final competitor. Uh, competitor number nine, Ivaras Machus, uh, representing the coffee bar at Harrods, London. Let's see what he had to tell about himself. Hello, Ivaras. How are you? Hello, Lorinas. Uh, I'm good. Yes, How are you? yeah. Thank you. Uh, enjoy, enjoying some uh, little time off before the, the final show. Uh, and we have this uh, interviews to introduce our finalists here. Uh, so I was you're new to basically Lithuanian competitions, I would say so. But tell us about your uh, previous competition experience and uh, maybe shortly about your uh, coffee journey in, in life in general. Mm. Well, my coffee journey, is, let's start with this. Uh, so basically, I've started maybe in 2012, I started making coffee. That was my first touch with the steamer and like how to steam the milk and all of that. So I've, I've been doing it for around three years or so. Let's say, I mean, I've been making coffees, teas, smoothies and all of that. But I wasn't looking at it like professional drawing, any latte art or anything. So any, the best pattern I was doing at that time, it was like apple or 
bumpy heart or whatever. So mm -hmm. uh, sometimes when you get lucky, you would pour something more difficult like Rosetta or so, but then I wouldn't even know what is Rosetta at that time. As the time goes by, you know, slowly, slowly, uh, I joined was in 2017 or eight, 2018, I think, um, I've joined a coffee bar. So over there, I've learned uh, more about latte art, how it's supposed to be, what's the, uh, what's the requirements for good latte art and just, you know, more technical basis. And I started applying it to the cupping you know, of coffee. So slowly, slowly, it didn't go well at first, but then slowly, slowly, as the time goes by, obviously, I've, I think I've managed to do something better than the bad shaped heart or rosette and you know then the competition started I, I haven't been in many of those just my first one i went to brighton it was a coffee festival in brighton so me and my best friend alex we went there uh, with our friends and just competed there it was not many contestants too yeah maybe around 15 or 20 i don't know but it was fun, you know, it was my first uh, experience. I, I've, I've seen how my hands are shaking in this stage moment. And um, also, yeah, after that, um, I joined a caffeine competition. It was in London. Uh, so they do yearly, usually every year competition. But this time was like 68 people or so. So I've managed to get through to finals and I was uh, kicked out on the second round. So the eighth, let's say I finished as a in final. And yeah, then I've joined some local ones uh, just one time in Ronder Cafe, I think. And then it was, so it's like four competitions I've been. Yeah. It's yeah. not. Oh, okay. okay. So uh, great results, you know. Congratulations getting to final. Now we will see how you've done in semi final with, uh, well, it's quite outstanding, uh, outstanding uh, pattern, which is, uh, which is basically a hummingbird in a cup. Uh, so uh, tell us how, why is it difficult and uh, how you felt uh, uh, doing it? Well, it's it's not the greatest, you know, it's it's a design. I mean, maybe I wowed some people, but it's not like super good, you know, um, because I see myself, I made a lot of mistakes and I mean, it was difficult to get the right pattern with the with the milk that I've been using at the time. And it, it also it's really important factors of your uh, latte art, that you would have a nice coffee that is not too fresh, not too old. Then you have like um, nice milk, uh, so it's enough in cream con consistency and all of that. So I mean, I came up with this pattern because I thought, okay, all the all the people will be pouring some swans and uh, maybe double swans or whatever. So I said, let me come up with something different. And I thought, okay, the hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like so it was a great decision. I'm glad uh, it worked. Yeah, and uh, what's your pattern for final? Um, it's going to be, should I say it here? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a unicorn, a kind of unicorn Pegasus uh, horse. Yeah. So it's interesting. I found myself really happy doing this design. It wasn't the easiest one, but I achieved, I think, one of my best patterns in what I've been doing so far. <laughs> Congratulations. Some shaky hands can be seen in the video and I wish you a yeah, yeah. good day. <laughs> Don't get nervous by the end of watch. <laughs> Thank you, Ivaras. Good luck. Thank you. That was Ivaras Marches. We had a chance to meet him and it is the last finalist for today. So right after this pour, we will, you will have a chance to vote for your favorite barista, Ivaras and his Pegasus.
that was all from our nine finalists today. Beautiful and very creative designs from their hands to your eyes, basically. And it is time now to start the vote for your favorite barista and favorite latte art design. Uh, menti.com, enter code 660-10483. You can see it down below here uh, and go to vote for your favorite. Your audience vote will count as four of judge, so 25% of the score is decided by you, our audience. So please be active to decide who is the best latte art master in Baltics. Believe me, it's going to be really, really important how you vote. Uh, if you miss someone or you want to check again what was your favorite barista number, the highlights of today's final are now. Well, I hope you had a chance to see your favorite from today. There's still a few minutes to vote, so but don't hesitate. There's not so much time left. Before, uh, before we stop the vote, uh, and a few more things before that, uh, in our Instagram channel, SCA Lithuania, we were challenging for past three weeks baristas and coffee fans who have a chance to pour latte art to do challenges in a very weird way so that you can see right now on the screen. Uh, first week we had a uh, pouring latte art blindfolded so the baristas couldn't see what they're pouring in a cup. Uh, and second week we had a side pitcher challenge uh, where they had to use pitcher in a sideways, so not through the usual uh, nose of the pitcher but on the side. And some baristas did even swans with it. And this week we had a uh, third competition, which was basically pouring light art into a pitcher that we can see right now. And we have a winner and the sponsor of this competition is Lamar Soccer Rocket Bean and King Coffee Service. And the winner of the pouring light art into a milk jug is Kaspar Grossfeld. So Kaspar uh, Paluina, uh, I'm happy you are a winner of this challenge. Well done. Uh, now we will have a chance to talk to our judges, correct? Yes, correct. And let's invite Edita Khodarcevic uh, now, if she's ready. Yes. Hi. Hello, Edita. Could you share your uh, experience or your uh, just emotions after seeing all the competitors and you, now you saw the videos as well and you, go, you had a chance to meet them? Uh, you know, what's the feeling? Does it feel like more like competition now? <laughs> Yes, for sure. I think it does feel more like competition. And I think to all the guys, I want to say very well done because all of them probably had less chance to practice due to, you know, due to COVID situation. And nonetheless, they managed to create new patterns and, you know, and spend some time practicing and entering the competition, which is great. So hopefully, you know, the they can keep the momentum going and, you know, keep the latte art skills sort of up and ready for when everything's back to normal. 
So yeah. I, from, you, from your words, I understand you are truly waiting for uh, actual national and sanctioned competitions to come back. Yes, it would be great because my last competition was actually Vilnius Coffee Festival last year and I haven't done anything since. So yeah, it's been, it's been some time. <laughs> Than a silent time, and yes, Vilnius Coffee Festival just managed it uh, basically right on time uh, to meet for the one final time with so many pro coffee professionals in one place. Um, anyways, uh, let's talk about the creative part of the what we saw today. We saw maybe some designs that are seen in the world, in the Instagram, and etc. How do you? How do you think of creativity and, you know, do you recognize yourself, the designs that are made by the barista or they just maybe take somebody's technique and try to recreate it? Mm. Yeah, I think some of the designs that we've seen were very creative and you can tell that people really thought, like baristas really thought about what they want to do uh, using, you know, techniques but actually creating the pattern that isn't the standard pattern uh, which is great um, of course you need probably quite a little bit of experience to be able to do that so that's not that easy to do um, but yeah i think overall some of the patterns were very creative and then it was more down to the execution, like how much people practice to get it really, really spot on on the day and present the best photo they possibly could. Edita, I want to thank you personally for joining us and for doing great work uh, judging and uh, sharing your experience with us. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, thank you for being part of Pictures Up. Thank you, Irina, and thank you guys for organizing that. That was great. Yeah. Thank you from all of our team. Uh, let's jump to our second judge. Uh, and it is Reinmond Selga uh, from Latvia, Calvero Street co-founder. Hello, Mr. Reinmond. Hey, hey. This morning when I saw you, I was joking. Oh, Reinmond is in his judging shirt. So classic, uh, classic style from I him. I <laughs> That's how we see <laughs> <laughs> That's what, how we usually see him in competitions. <laughs> so uh, share your share your uh, thoughts and emotions with us. Um, it's been really great to see that the baristas are challenging themselves and one another to uh, to compete because um, I think we're we're all pretty uh, say nostalgic about actual actual competitions. So this is this is as good as it gets, and I think it's a nice change for the baristas who are still working. In, uh, on a daily basis in a coffee shop to to switch away from takeaway cups and actually pour something in the <laughs> in a ceramic cup uh, which is uh, which is which is really cool um, yeah it was great I have to agree with a lot of that uh, Edita said but uh, but overall it's been uh, it's, it's been fantastic for sure have you judged latte art competitions before you did uh, last year in Vilnius Coffee Festival right yep Yep, yep. We did last year in Vilnius Coffee Festival, and then the year before in in, in France as well for the nationals. Wow. So, uh, so uh, I've I've had some experience, and it's always amazing to see what people uh, can come up with with just two ingredients, which is uh, milk. Actually, three ingredients: milk, uh, milk, coffee, and technique. Right. So it's it's always great to see. Yeah. Well, that's a great description of what latte art is. It's basically, as you said, milk, coffee, and uh, skill. And uh, I, you never competed in latte art. Maybe you've done some uh, throwdowns, but uh, barista competitions are so much different, I think, from latte art. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it takes such an amazing uh, dedication to become a latte art master. What do you think? I agree completely. I think uh, latte art is often... Um... In the specialty coffee industry, latte art is often, uh, say, uh, misjudged as not being important, and I completely disagree. Even though I am not, say, as uh, adept as uh, in latte art as some of the competitors were, uh, masterfully skillful, I think that you shouldn't underevaluate the importance of latte art because latte art can uh, can make an outstanding impression to any one of our guests that uh, uh, could clarify that, for example, the quality in this coffee shop is going to be 
at least good. Of course, there's the discussion of the product quality, but but if you can make a beautiful pattern in the cup, that already ex says that this, the milk is going to be well prepared. And uh, yeah, it's a huge emotion, and it's very nice to see great patterns in the cup. So definitely, do not uh, do not uh, make latte art uh, make latte art great again. Uh, that, that's what I want to say. Make latte art great again, uh, because it's a very uh, important part of the coffee industry. Yeah, I think it's just uh, why it's really important for our industry is just to show the clients and whoever is drinking coffee is that the barista cares about the product. So he puts detail, attention to detail for the final serve. Exactly. Good, Raymond. Thank you very much for joining, for judging. And I wish you a beautiful day and exciting uh, champions and announcement, which is, which is going to happen in, I don't know, maybe three minutes, four minutes, something like this. Yeah, thank you for having me and thank you for organizing this amazing event. So good job. And uh, I hope to see more from you. You always do so great. So, uh, and thank you to the competitors and the fellow judges as well. Uh, amazingly done. Thank you, Raymond. See you next time. Third judge, Kaspar uh, Tamiar from Netherlands, but Estonian Dutch Latte champion. Hello, Kaspar. Hey. So, how was it for you? It was really nice. Also, like seeing the actual videos and commentaries, it made you uh, understand more about you know, each competitor's approach to not only their patterns, but also to a little bit about coffee. And uh, it was really well, it was really nice to hear. And uh, yeah, definitely That's answered good. a yeah. lot of questions what uh, <laughs> might have summed up during the live stream. Uh, I think uh, it was a great chance uh, to meet the baristas, right? To understand yeah. where they come from and also it gives a it's it's it gets more personal, right? So you get to actually know the baristas, and you don't have it, to be so strict. Even though yeah, the it, judges did the evaluation, it, it really uh, you saw to build only the community. pictures. <laughs> so there was no emotions when the judges did it. <laughs> they had to do it by the book, by the rules, and uh, just to put their own opinion without evaluating the personality behind it. So, Kaspar. Uh, as I understand, you're still planning to compete uh, when it's available, right? Yeah, definitely. And you're working it's, on your uh, it's, it's a, Yeah, so like for me, the competitions, uh, of course, like day to day basis, you still want to push your skill level or like bring up your skill level higher and higher. But uh, for my for me personally, I've noticed that like coming approaching uh, closer to competitions, you're uh, putting more effort or more focus in your own skill. So uh, you're, yeah, like uh, you're bringing your level uh, higher and higher as the competition gets closer. And I think that's really fun little way of, uh, you know, a cool outlet. To show your skills, perfect. Yeah. Kaspar, I wish you all the best in the future competitions and thank you for uh, judging uh, and, uh, you know, let, helping us to choose the biggest lighter throwdown uh, online in Baltics uh, champion today. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's been a blast and thank you for all the uh, competitors and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's truly been really nice to see that, like, uh, from Baltic cities, you can see more people show interest towards latte art. So I'm really happy about that. Great. Thank you, Kasper. See you next time. And that was our judges describing what level we had and what barista showed and uh, just, uh, you know, sharing emotions and good vibes with us. Last chance for you to vote while we show the last final highlights of today finalists, nine finalists who took part in Pictures Up final today.
meters up. Final is the day, and it is time to stop audience vote. The fourth judge are you, our audience, and we are stopping the vote in three, two, one, and the audience uh, vote is closed. And now uh, it's put, being put in, put back, put back in one place. Oh my God, I'm losing my words. I'm so excited to get to know who won today. But first of all, little break about King Coffee service. And then you will, then we will see, and you will see how the audience voted and who are your favorites. That was a moment from King Coffee Service. Uh, and now we will share your ranking, so audience ranking. Don't forget, there's three more judges that have the vote, vote and voice to express. And we see that Sofia Vitala received over 150 votes from her fans. Uh, second, looks like Sharuna with 114. And Yava Shopita, Lithuanian Latter champion. Ah, no, I missed Alexandra with 108 votes. So it's Sofia, Sharuna, Alexandra, and Yava. And then the other guys are following them with some less votes, but not, but still very impressive, very interesting to see how you liked the, the, the performances, basically. Uh, before we announce the final ranking and we figure out how to show it all together and to make sure everything is precise because believe me it's very tight in the final ranking uh, evaluation. Uh, as SCA Lithuania team member and uh, part of the committee uh, I want to thank all of the community that joined us uh, including our team uh, such an engagement from the audience and from all coffee lovers in Baltics and not only because we had news that there was even viewers from Canada. Uh, so we went a bit uh, all around the world and it's great to be part of the community and to get you all together to compete, to share knowledge, to inspire and motivate everybody to compete and have fun uh, while doing latte art and enjoying coffee. Uh, the value of this event is in, in, in all of you, basically. It's in competitors, judges, uh, and the sponsors, and of course, our audience that uh, was amazing throughout these days and showed so much support for us and for the competitors as well. Uh, and uh, as, a, as a host, I feel responsible to say thank you to our uh, team who are working behind the scenes and just makes uh, me look uh, beautiful in the camera. <laughs> and it's Nidas Kuber, it's uh, Neringa Dabkavic, and uh, Akvila Armanait and Victoria Martin Kiena. All of this team made a huge uh, sacrifices and benefits to make this event happen. Uh, we really look forward to make more events that are just as fun or even more fun and can't wait. I, me truly, I can't wait for the real after parties uh, when we can get all the baristas together and it's going to make uh, such an amazing uh, time. Uh, while we still have the, the ranking sorted out, 
uh, I want to thank some more people and some more brands. So first of all, of course, to the sponsors we have. So Lomarzoko with King Coffee Service for, for featuring up, powering up uh, our uh, competitions. Uh, as well, Lomniva for delivering happiness in safe and uh, fast, reliable way. Uh, caffeine for freshly roasted specialty coffee beans. Uh, Kofmos Coffee Roasters for uh, sharing good coffee lives through their uh, kofmos.com eShop. And of course, Paulik for making and creating products that are beautiful and meant for baristas. Uh, Tallinn Coffee Festival, an event, our event sponsor who are holding their uh, celebration of coffee, that's how I call it, in beautiful venue Kulturi Katel in Tallinn this year, 5th to 4th of September, fifth time already, so uh, anniversary of Tallinn Coffee Festival uh, this uh, autumn. Let's hope uh, the vault opens up and we can all get there and uh, visit this beautiful event and uh, meet all our coffee, coffee fans. Uh, once again, it's been thrilling. I I'm, can't express myself how excited I am that very soon we will crown one of the 53 competitors from Baltics who took part, uh, competed, and uh, today we're fighting for the final, uh, final, final uh, champion title. Uh, they are receiving some great gifts from our King Coffee service uh, sponsor, Varia Multibrewer device. You can not only make, it's not only you can make uh, a simple cup of coffee, you can make it in any way you like. It's a V60 filter coffee. It's a French press. It's even a mocha pot in one, in one box. I would love to have it. Unfortunately, I can have it. Uh, prizes are going to all, to all of our competitors. Those who fell out of the competition before, well, they have already received some great uh, goodies from our sponsors. Uh, top three competitors will get two entry passes each to Tallinn Coffee Festival. We had also a fun, uh, fun competition here today. Uh, and to share another two passes for one of our fans. And finally, <laughs> we have the ranking done. <laughs> oh my God, uh, I am getting goosebumps already. Uh, it is time to see the final uh, ranking. And we will start with fourth to ninth place, basically. So uh, those who didn't get to the podium, and they are getting on the screen right now. And we have Georg, Edgar, Helena, Sofia, Zygimantaji, and Alexandra Popsova. Uh, guys, you did amazing. It's a huge achievement getting here. We thank you very much. You will get our sponsors prizes as well. And I am so excited to have you. You've been great uh, competitors and you are a role model for our coffee community. <sighs> Third place of Pitchers Up, powered by Lamarzoko. Sharuna Paskochimaita representing King Coffee Service and she ended up the third place from the judges, all of them, third place from public and that lands her a third place, amazing job. And this is the moment that we've been waiting for for three weeks. Our team was working for this moment for basically two months to have it selected and we will announce at once second and first place uh, and that will happen in few moments. I am ready to announce them. And I see our, uh, we have a little bit more of, uh, and this is it. We have our second place, Yavashua Pita, Lithuanian Latter champion from Taste Map, second place. And the winner of Pitchers Up, the biggest Latter throwdown online. Uh, in Baltics ever held champion Ivaras Machus, who is getting the beautiful prize from Varia Multi Brewer. And we will have a chance to talk with Ivaras very soon, I hope. 
it's been amazing journey how I was get got here. So in the first round, he fell out, but he was brought back by Lamar Zocco comeback competition, and the fans saved him. He qualified. Uh, he went into semifinals, and he got the first place. And now, with outstanding hummingbird in the semifinal, and today with Pegasus, uh, he amazed the judges, amazed the audience, and now he is the champion of Pitchers Up uh, Frodan, representing uh, the coffee bar at Harrods, London. Uh, very brand new person to our uh, Baltic competition uh, community. And we are so thrilled to have him here and to compete uh, with us. Uh, definitely very skilled uh, latte artist and uh, deserves a spot on the top uh, place in the podium. Uh, we will uh, get the prizes to him and I hope still that we can get him on the live show. Uh, before that, uh, I have to thank uh, some people that I never mentioned before, and it is Rusna Stankevichute who took care of the beautiful visual graphical designs that we have. I want to thank for Giedra Edmunds for editing all the videos that we received from our uh, baristas throughout these three weeks. Uh, and of course, we want to thank for Wide Wings for sharing some uh, technological solutions with us to make this event happen. I just would like to check if we will have Ivaras uh, with us. Will we have Ivaras uh, joining us? Uh, two minutes. Yeah, we will have Ivaras in two minutes. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, for those who were watching us for full three weeks, uh, it's been amazing that you've been so active and we know some favorites who were always commenting and sharing our shows. Uh, we want to thank you so much. Uh, I hope you truly enjoy this competition and this format of competitions. SCA Lithuania is definitely open to opportunities uh, to organize some new different style events. And if you have ideas and you want to share them with us, please get in touch through social media or if you know me or any other team member. Believe me, we are very friendly. We would love to chat with you about new possibilities. Uh, cooperations and everything else. Uh, definitely, uh, it's great to try yourself in different uh, perspectives. And uh, well, uh, that's it for today. So Ivaras couldn't manage to join us. He's probably working or uh, just lost in the, you know, in the internet uh, labyrinths, and we cannot get him today. Congratulations to top three finalists of today, Ivara, Siava, Sharuna, and of course, huge thanks for all of our competitors, sponsors, and uh, I am saying, uh, see, I am not saying see you next time. Am I saying or am I not saying? Ah, so Ivara is joining. Okay, <laughs> I am, I'm puzzled. I'm puzzled. I'm just so happy. Uh, that we have a champion, a new person to join us here, and I hope he can share his uh, experience and uh, if he is gonna, you know, going to support us and uh, compete the next time he has a chance in Lithuania, maybe, in a normal, traditional way. So, do we have Ivaras? Not yet. Okay, okay, okay. Ivaras, you can, uh, you're definitely very good at light art. I hope you can manage uh, joining us in the live stream today. Um, you know what we can do? We can walk through what do we have here. We have Kofmos coffee roasters, we have Pauling Milks uh, supporting us, we have caffeine here, and of course, we have the main prize from King Coffee Service, and Ivaras is joining. Ivaras, congratulations! This goes to you. Yay! <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Tell us how do you feel. It's amazing. Like when I saw the first from four to nine, I was like, "Oh god, oh god!" You know. <laughs> and then they they showed the third competitor, and I was like, "Okay, now is the time. Now is the time." <laughs> it feels great, you know. Like when I saw my name at the top, I was like, "Wow, yes." Is this thank your you, first you. win in uh, coffee competitions? Uh, yeah, to be honest, it's the first one. 
And, uh, it's amazing. Yes. Uh, uh, it's great that you joined us. Uh, you came, you came out, out of nowhere, basically. We didn't know you before. Uh, then I checked your Instagram. I was like, oh, we have some more coffee professionals in the world that we never knew about. And such an amazing uh, opportunity for us to meet you and for all the community to see your skills. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And I wanted to, you know, it's difficult in London here because it's still lockdown. So we don't have working uh, place to actually practice and do designs. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to whoever, uh, my friend Alex, uh, basically my management team, uh, organiz organizers, you know, you guys done really amazing job. My friend's been telling me like, wow, this is Lithuanian, you know, they're doing good event and <laughs> it's amazing, amazingly organized and really, really cool. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you, Ivaras, for joining for kind words. And uh, I just remember when we did the interview after we recorded it, uh, you said, Ah, I forgot to thank all the people I need to thank. So that was <laughs> a chance. Well, you just won your chance to say thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Ivaras, once again. Uh, say goodbye and one more thanks to your fans. Yep. So thank you again to all my friends, organizers, all the people that made it happen, you know. And uh, it's, it's really been a pleasure to compete in such a competition. It's, it's really nice, you know. And to be recognized for a fact, so it's really cool. Thank you. It's been great, Ivaras. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for all the audience, for our judges, competitors, uh, sponsors, friends, and whoever supported this event. Uh, and this is it. Three weeks of throwdowns is done. We will see you in the next competitions. Goodbye. For sure. Bye. <laughs>